Hi, it's Shadia here, and welcome back to my channel. Hmm, long day at work. Really don't feel like cooking, so... Hmm, got some bread, got some cheese, got some pasta sauce, and some vegan pepperonis, and... Huh, meatless grounds. Oh, well, sounds like a pizza sub night to me. Okay, so I sliced the subs in half and I'm spreading my Prego Farmer's Spaghetti Sauce on. Have you tried the Farmer's Spaghetti Sauce with the chickpeas in it? And they have one with kale in it and then they have one with garlic and basil. Oh, so good. Yeah, got to try them. Now I'm spreading some Viola Mozzarella Cheese on top now i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of water over that vegan cheese because you know how it doesn't like to melt on its own it's always looking for some company now, after I did that, I sprinkled a little oregano. Shake a little here, shake a little there. No measurements needed. And the same for the oregano. I'm gonna have to use my fingers this time. They're clean, I washed them. Yes, I did. And a little black pepper won't hurt. Shake a little here and shake a little there. Now I had, I didn't have the regular meatless grounds. I ran out. So what I had was the chipotle ones. So what? A little bean on a pizza ain't gonna hurt nobody, right? It's all good. At least it tastes good. It was good to us. And that's all I had. So what I did was I sprinkled some of the um, Chipotle meatless crumbles on each side, on one side of each sub. Come on, meat. Stay on the cheese. Stay with me here. And now to top it off with some vegan pepperoni. So I'm just going to layer those on the opposite side of our sub. Now very gently put those pizza subs on some aluminum foil. Okay, now into the toaster oven they go at 375. Yeah, somewhere between 375, 400. And we're gonna bake these until the cheese melts and the bread browns. I should have put aluminum on top to help melt the cheese, but it did all right by itself. Okay, y'all, I got to go. This is so good. Peace and love. I'll see you in the next video.